Hey. Forever and ever. Jeff! Mm -hmm. Forever and yeah. ever. Jeff! Mm -hmm. Good forever. Jeff! <laughs> <laughs> All right, people, another beautiful day is here to spread love, light, list with beautiful music. Regardless of what you have going on at the moment, it is Splash Day for you. Hey. Because keeping you company is a job we do best. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and don't forget, it's a movie tuition. Okay? <laughs> that one again. <laughs> yes, now, when you say situation, this one is movie tuition because, of course, it is Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Awesome movie talks and some cool <laughs> vibes to go with that. We are serving you hot this afternoon with full effect. Yes, oh, yes, let them know, let them know. Mm -hmm. Do not forget to hook up with us <laughs> online on our socials with the hashtag eSplash on TVC. And of course on Facebook, we are facebook.com forward slash TVC Connect. Come on board and let's do this together as always. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Roy Anderson's Flanners. I go by your name, King OJ. Well, you can call me OJ. That's where it is. It, it is, is what it is. Time to count. Uh, Honey, <laughs> me, I'm waiting. You put a tire. <laughs> we know the tire. <laughs> me, I know the tire. The counting no good tire, you. you no good but tire. But I, I said singing, I said it last week, and guess what? Thank I God. gave them some lamba in the makeup room today. Rem oh, yeah. <laughs> remind me of what I said. Oh, no, you, you cannot even remember your own rap. No, 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 no. no, no. no. It's got freestyle. It was freestyle. Freestyle. Okay, okay, freestyle. freestyle. You know, when so, you're feeling so the vibe, I, I was saying like something about. Um, Ramatalo. <laughs> ah, no, it was hot. It was hot. It had brains. Ah! Ramatalo, Ramatalo, Laba. When I watched hey. that, some people already ah. said, said Ramatalo, Ramatalo, Laba. You uh -huh. didn't see that thing. Oh, which yes, can, like the rhyme. Oh, no. Which can, oh. which can slim case setting with this? <laughs> No, don't See, worry. Street solution. OJ, yes, sir. Street solution. See, let me tell you, Ramba na Lamba, so me, Ramba ta lo Ramba na Lamba. Hey! Don't blow. Let me give me. But guess what? Today we are two sheets. Tuesday. It I just is all there. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's time. I have not said my name now. Hey, I, I want to introduce you. No, don't Can't introduce you know me. Thank you. Me. My name is Honey Pot, Honey Shizu, Honey Fizu for Shizu, Honey Money, Honey Rabba, Ramata, Rabba, Salala. Oh, my God. Oh! Which oh, what happened to Annie Rabba? How did I get here? I'm Which lost. kind of one chance we did? <laughs> okay, people! <laughs> Enough of all the freestyle. Now we're back to saying our names. You know my own name. Very simple, very straightforward. You know my name is Catherine. But you all know me as Lady Cat, her real hotness. And I'm so. giving you yeah. all the fire today. It's good. In red. In red. Lady in red. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what do we have? Let's talk about what we have planned out today on the show. We will start off with the entertainment news. Check out today's celebrants on Celebrity Birthdays. And of course, rewind. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll also be checking out where are they now? Why Catherine will be bringing us uh, today's dose of social media craziness on Social View. On the flip side of the show, we'll be chewing it off, after which we will be taking the news recap. We'll also be having two special guests joining us on the show today. Trust me, you do not want to miss this for the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And wrapping it all up, we will be telling you all the movies and TV shows we recently watched or are currently watching. There is so much lined up today. Ha! Huh? Let's do this, people. Are you ready? All right, Zai. <laughs> are you there? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> And that is Selense by Caveman. Mm -hmm. All right, and talking about celebration, Selense, make we just a jolly because mm -hmm. you know what? Happiness is free on a Tuesday. <laughs> exactly. Okay. I said, oh, today. Ah, oh, God. God. I'm a <laughs> Give it to them. Okay, okay. Oh. So, still in the mode of celebration and in that, you know, euphoria and everything, let's just get into the entertainment news already. And this one is. Excellence celebration. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, even if you don't enter, <laughs> some Kelly, Idalama, and husband welcome their second child. Congratulations are in order as Nollywood actress, some Kelly Idalama, and her husband have welcomed their second child together. The movie star first revealed her pregnancy on June the 18th and then announced the birth of her newborn yesterday, sharing a faceless picture of the new baby wearing a romper with the inscription, What the Wait, Sam Kelly wrote 
hashtag God is good, hashtag all the time. God is good all, all the time. time. <laughs> Massive congratulations <laughs> to Sam Kelly and our husband. God is good <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I'm really, really happy about this because this is our second child. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. recently she uh, posted a video of her first child disturbing her like, mommy, mommy, mommy. So now she has more hands to touch mm -hmm. her cheeks and mm -hmm. pull it. Mm -hmm. And you know, I love kids mm -hmm. and the fact that, well, some people want to have their kids at once and some are facing me, but mm -hmm. congratulations to the couple. I'm yeah. happy for them. I'm, I'm happy for her. She has been through a lot after she revealed that she has been dealing uh, a son. A yeah, first, first child, child. Has been dealing with yeah. Um, cancer. Yeah, the boy, the guy is good now. She revealed this last year. And it's so great to see that she's celebrating another child again. Yes. With the romper, what the way. Yes. Yes. Like, I am particularly happy that's because amazing. if she had gone through those, yes. it is a very beautiful mm -hmm. time yes. to have this in her life. Like, mm -hmm. no. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the boy is yes. a happy child, dude. Mm -hmm. Hey, you need to see all these videos. <laughs> hey. Congratulations. I'm like, I'm for Congratulations. Congrats. Congrats. All right, moving on to the next story. Gerard Butler sues over Olympus as falling profits. Hollywood actor Gerard Butler has reportedly taken legal actions against New Image, Millennium Media and Padre Nuestro Productions for $10 million after over profit sharing claims in regards to his 2013 blockbuster film Olympus Has Fallen. The lawsuit alleges that the actor is owed at least $10 million from the producers of the film after it grossed nearly $170 million globally. According to Gerard Butler, he has not received any portion of the net profits from Olympus Has Fallen, despite the fact that the film was a surprise hit at the box office. Just so you know, the film has spawned two successful sequels, 2016's um, London Has Fallen and 2019's Angel Has Fallen, in which Gerard Butler reprised the role of Mike Bannon, a Secret Service agent who has to rescue the president from all stage takers. If you would recall, just last week we reported that Scarlett Johansson sued Disney production company over a movie Black Widow being released on Disney Plus and in the theaters noting that a salary depended largely on the film's box office performance. Hmm. So is this a trend hmm. that wants to be... It is the latest trend. I think it has been happening. It has been, But they yeah. will settle it amicably. But amicably. right now that people are coming out and saying, you know what? But I think they should know better. It has been happening, and somehow it's shocking that this is from the Western world. Yeah. And mm -hmm. apart from that, I like again that, you know, we can have stories like this. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that it is good, mm -hmm. so that we don't think that it is only in our climb that we have problems <laughs> of people exactly. talking about money yeah. and record label and all that. But of course, this is movie. And uh, I, I am just so surprised. If you have put something down and yeah. you have agreed, mm -hmm. why go the other way? Like, you signed contract that, okay, we'll be making you... So this movie, we've paid you for whatever it is. You've shot the movie. From when we're making the profits, you'll be getting your small change. And years down the line, you've not gotten anything. And I'm sure they must have been saying, my guy, alpha, alpha. Don't worry, we'll run it. We'll but guess run it, what? We'll I think it. they won't even try with certain people. Scarlett Johnson They tried is with big. their own Scarlett. I know, Johnson. but I think that they won't try with some hey. people. I don't know, but I have a feeling that they will not try with certain people. Well, it's just messy. You know, up. sometimes it even this begins when someone tries to be smart and like you know what they won't notice. So that's where it starts from. They won't notice. They won't notice. Before you know it, it becomes something blown. Like we've seen it happen normally on the business front. Mm -hmm, People mm -hmm. on the business front say, oh, this, that, that. Before you know it, when you go back and look at where the fraud started from or where they started taking the money, it was just a nip in the bud. Yeah. And then they got greedy and it extended. Mm -hmm. So it could have been going on for a while, but it, they might have been overlooking that, oh, it's something small. Yeah. And now it has blown up in their faces mm -hmm. and they're like, you know what, this has to come out and it has to be settled. And, and I, it could be that they even try to settle amicably, but what they are trying to offer it's not might what's... even be a third yeah, or a quarter of, of what, what the person is supposed to get. So when you don't get what you want, at the end of the day, you have to go the legal way so you get your rights. Uh, I feel if people have worked for something, mm -hmm. they should be rewarded and rewarded properly because exactly. if this has been the agreements, yeah. then you should go that route. I'm, I'm always scared of um, issues like this, lawsuits like this. Yes, they cannot go and bring the contract now. They will not, you will not see one the clause. Clause. one clause in some no, section. But there is always a clause. Yes. And like that is the why clause. they say you should trade well. The, the reason why we cannot pay your profits and the reason why Scarlett Johansson, we are taking this to the cinema and streaming platform is because, look at that, I, I, I. Look at it there. You and that is why you say all the time. Oh, God. Get a lawyer who understands <laughs> stuff very well before you. 
get into any contract. But but if it's this side, it's not always contract. They just won't buy you. They just won't buy you. Exactly. <laughs> that's right. That's how we get resolved. Let's just keep our fingers. But yes, human definitely. beings are human beings at mm -hmm. the end of the day, whether mm -hmm. the person is white or mm -hmm. black or something. Mm -hmm. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the entertainment news. It's now time for Celebrity Birthday Shout Out. Hey. In alphabetical order, today's celebrants are the following people. Evangeline Lily is 42 today. Yes, the Canadian actress and author gained popular acclaim for her first leading role as Kate Austin in the ABC series Lost. Films to her credits include the Upbeat film series, appearing in The Dissolution of Smog, and The Battle of the Five Armies. She has also portrayed Ope Van Dyne, aka Waps, uh, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, starring in Ant Man, Ant Man and Waps, and of course, Avengers Endgame. And she's supposed to reprise the role again in the next yes, one that's coming out next year and next two years. She you know, is gorgeous. I, mm -hmm, you know, I saw mm -hmm. a video of her where uh, she granted some interviews, all these behind the scene videos. And she was talking about a character as the worst one. She was like, when she tried it the first time, she was really, really excited to get the role because she has seen Ant Man. But yeah. acting as the worst, at first, it was like, can I do this? Like, she was always scared, <laughs> but she got used to it. And there we have the worst yeah. that we enjoyed I, in the movie. I, and I think she's weird too. How can your house get burnt? She was filming Lost <laughs> in 2006 and the house got burnt. And she said that it was kind of liberating because she doesn't have to clutter a lot of things in her life again. Who does that? She oh. lost everything. <laughs> See, that's why they say look at things from different perspectives. Because uh. now she's looking that if I get a new house, I'm getting new things. So all uh. things have passed away. Okay. You know, some people get attached to some things and okay. yeah, she's maybe it's a sign. It could be a sign. <laughs> I, you know. I, I, yeah, talking about Lost, I think I need to go and watch that series again. Yes, Very creepy series. Mm -hmm. Anyway, celebrating today, also we have Isaiah Washington, who is 58. media personality following a series of film appearances it came to prominence for portraying dr preston burke in the first three seasons of the series Grey's anatomy from 2005 to 2007 and of course i remember him from one scary movie ghost ship yeah. yes remember from ghost ship and of course some other movies too and i birthday. particularly like him because it does not really have anything out there for you to, <laughs> for you to catch up. Exactly. <laughs> and then he had, he had a major spot with uh, one of the co-stars of Grey's Anatomy. That's why they, they, that's why they yanked him off. Yeah. And then he brought him back again recently, like, no, we gotta go back. We gotta mm. talk about this. Like, yeah, where are you guys? yeah but, that, nice. but that made them pull him off from that series. Yeah, so, it did. So. Happy birthday to yeah. him. Happy birthday. Also celebrated today, Jasmine Olofi is 48. He is a Nigerian artist who was one of the big names who took the Nigerian entertainment industry by storm in the early 2000s. His hit single, Race the Roof, featuring Fuji music star Adewale Ayuba, shot him into limelight in 2004. And of course, he has songs like Shake Something, Shake Something Eko yeah. Ile, yeah, with Storm Records and them like. Yeah, that's all okay. right. That's and all right. today, I'm sure many people will be raising that roof because it's Turning his birthday. Up. Turning up. Uh, it's not easy to be alive. Mm -hmm. It is not too. That thing Alibaba said. Uh, over the weekend, they posted um, after they talked about Richard Oniga, yeah. and he was saying that yeah, see, these right. days it's a luxury to be alive. Yeah. So exactly. you know, if you, you have like Gucci it. something designer, rockets, you are in the house, way to the toilet. Yes, yeah. so yes, yeah, so don't Amazing. wait for Parry. Parry your house. <laughs> yes. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Jasmine Loffin. Also celebrated today, John C. McGinley is 62. You might remember the American actor for films such as Wild Hogs, Are We Done Yet, Alex Cross, and many other TV series. Always playing a cop. Yeah. Always playing a cop. Most of the movies that I've seen. Anyways, happy, birthday. Movie happy birthday. Happy birthday. The way he blushes in his picture. <laughs> yeah. His face is always like... Always red. <laughs> <laughs> also celebrate today, Michael Ely is 48. Aww. I don't like him. I like him. I, <laughs> like, I have a crush on him. I have a crush on him. When I heard I was mad, I was so, so, so mad. Yes, I like him. And he give me. Yeah. He's an American no. actor known for his roles in movies such as Baba is Shop, uh, Too Fast, Too Furious, Take Us, Take Like a Man. The perfect guy, the intruder, and all that. The reason why I said I don't I'm like him. I'm going to eat you, Rob. It's, yeah. it's, it's always playing like the intruder. 
creepy relationship. Of course, um, yes. The perfect guy, I think he was the one trying to break into a particular relationship. It's always playing all those characters. Even in Mary in, Jane, being yes, Mary Jane. Is, I, is that he, how he you was, live in real life? Do you get? So I imagine, because, and then his eyes, he has like, I, beg, the I, color. I was going to talk about his <laughs> dreamy color. eyes. What's his wrong with His eyes are Get over dreamy. yourself. Well, Jealousy will not kill you. We don't like him. <laughs> I well, love him. From his look, they believe he fits into the character perfectly. I, I think That's so. why and I think it's that. And I think in real life, perhaps it will be Small like so. Creepy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And of course, celebrating today, Uti Wachuku is 39. It's a Nigerian actor, TV host, and also Big Brother Africa. Not Big Brother Nigeria, Big Brother Africa. Uh -huh. Season five winner. So, so is their, is their senior brother? Yeah, that is daddy. So, that people should not be getting Happy it birthday to Uti. Happy birthday to Uti. Yeah. I, I, I think that is just so awesome. Like, mm -hmm. it's an awesome human being. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah and he would always come out. He's always he's been vocal about things that he believes in. If yeah. he doesn't believe in something, he Drag would say you. it. Yeah. And today is birthday. He embraced the sensuality, like the pictures he posted. Yeah. I'm like, okay, oh, I saw sensuality, but I'm seeing airbrush, so I don't know which one, but. Happy birthday, Uti. Okay. <laughs> and of course, happy birthday to everybody celebrating on this special day. We send you love, life, peace, and every beautiful thing you wish yourself. Oni Raba will send you money and send I you to I did not send anybody message. And buy shoe and wow. Yeah, that your, Did they sell shoes? That your rap line. You see that There's only it? one person. It's Ramata that went to <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right, people. A big happy birthday to you. I hope you have the best day ever. Right now, it is time for today's lesson in history. Let's take a look at Rewalk. Watch, 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 watch this. Let's rewind. On this day in 1992, Unforgiven, directed by Clint Eastwood and starring Clint Eastwood, Jenny Hackman, and Morgan Freeman, premieres in Los Angeles. They're paying $1,000. And in 1998, the Irish band Boy Zone released their best selling single, No Matter What, composed by Andrew Lloyd Webber and Jim Steinman. And in 2017, Camila Cabello releases a single, Havana. It was the biggest song worldwide in 2018, with 19 million copies sold. And that's it on Rewind. Watch this. Hey, chill uh, boy right there. <laughs> I'm going to like better thing. Ah, going to like better thing. thing. Mm. Uh -uh. What, what are, are you counting? Are you calculating whether? Ah. Should I say my better thing that I like? No, no. Tell me, tell me. Say it, say it, say it. No, say it. It's not no. good. It's not. Is this something? Believe me. Ranch. OJ, is one of, OJ is one of those people that will say, I have ice cream. Then when you ask me where the ice cream, say, don't worry, the flavor, you might not like it. <laughs> you know not like it. <laughs> this one, I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, 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 choke. Okay. So, but I really, really love that Joe Boys mm -hmm, video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love that it is Tuesday and we're playing it because uh, the hotel vibes in it, but, the way but, they were. But you did not start with hotel vibes. You gave us some slim case. We are not at I, the I apologize to people. Yeah, give us hotel line. No, don't worry, go come. She's not like, it's a come, it's a go come. It okay. go come. Okay. When, and when it comes... They don't rush greatness. No, no, they don't. At all. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> Shabi, you believe in me. If you like, don't believe. I believe in myself. <laughs> All this is where I did now. Thank you to find out which actor we are talking about I'll today. go buy your trash. <laughs> Thank you. It's worthy now. Chidi Mokeme. Chidi Mokeme is a famous Nollywood actor, investor, television host, and model who is famous for his role in the movie 76, Agony of a Mother and Abuja Connection. He began his career as a model in 1998 and his job entails representing various brands in the market. It was a good opportunity for him to hone his acting skills because, as a model, one had to take on a character when modeling for different products. If you want to quit, the door is open. The renowned actor joined the Nollywood acting scene in 2003 and since then he has featured in over 200 Nigerian movies and part of his success can be attributed to the fact that Chidi is very fluent in Yoruba, Hausa and his native dialect of Igbo which made him a versatile actor that he can be in different kinds of films. On Wednesdays, he drives in his jeep with his driver and one of his escorts. 
He has various awards such as the Most Prominent Actor in Nigeria at the African Movie Academy Awards, Best Actor in Nigeria in a Leading Role at the African Magic Viewers Choice Awards, amongst others. Suggestions. He then took a break in 2016, but returned to Nollywood in 2020. He is currently a filmmaker, transformational speaker, activist, life matician, and entrepreneur. He is also a husband and father. Come on, Sophia, look, I like love, okay? Now you know where they are now. Oh, I need somebody who can love me, who can hold me. Really? Uh, uh, that that person is me. Uh, uh, so why are you? Let me start changing it. I love myself. Because you don't have to ask you. You don't have to quickly change it. Ask me what. So who is the person that, that you, you want to tell us? Just tell us. Tell us. Uh, yeah, just tell us. Girl, remember, I'm the one who's searching. Wait, wait, wait. Don't mind them, though. You know, whenever we're at this corner, you know what it is. It is time for Social View. Time to check out all the craziness, humor, and savagery happening on social media. So, guys, are you ready? Let's do this. Mm. Yeah. First up, this one is something that many people can relate to. You know, uh -uh. it says mosquitoes nowadays be pulling down your socks to bite you. <laughs> Just step out of your house. Small. It's like they have fucking knives that they normally used to pull it to the side and <laughs> enter you. You if know, if you like wear clothes as thick as this, well, they will bite you through the clothes. They are straw. <laughs> and I think that's I think that straw is iron straw. So you used to go through anything it's like needle. Just be a chum. <laughs> you, you, you people think it's only people that have problems in Nigeria. The mosquitoes in Nigeria too. They have problems. Ah, <laughs> and there are some mosquito infested areas there in this place. Like you know them for through mm -hmm. Larry. Uh-uh. Uh, call out okay. Space. Let's move on. No. It's not me that we catch. You know. I'm telling you. Well, talking about catching, this is somebody's case that happened. So it says, the magistrate asks, this is not the first time that I'm seeing you in my courtroom, right? The accused responded. It's because you're not being promoted, your honor. So now, this thing will go wow. two ways. It's either your honor goes back to think about it that, that's true, let's imagine, I'm supposed yeah. to have been promoted. Or it will say, hey, you still have mouth to talk to me. Yeah, hereby sentenced to six extra months. It's, it's only going one way to me. Right? Can't tell you. The, the honor will mess you up. Can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> like, you are rude. Ah, or uh -uh, ma, it's not because you're not being promoted. Ah. That's why you keep seeing me here now. Hi. Mm. <laughs> it is a natural And I know that some criminals can actually do that. And because now ah, they can. It's, it's just a conversation now. Please, let's not talk about <laughs> criminals too much. Now let's talk about this one. This one is the idea something. So this first picture that you see here is me studying <laughs> and not making headway. So I can't even get to the road to be going forward. But me learning new song lyrics. Hey, but the why, song lyric book. The like boat is going. Yeah, she had no somebody on going, this thing. It's going. It's going. Betty is upstairs right now looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Say it with your food. Say it. Her name is. <laughs> that would be. Her name is Zupe, actually. <laughs> I know that. Huh? I know that after the show. <laughs> but it's okay. That one, eh? But, but why are people why are people like this? I like, don't know. You take you take lyrics of songs very serious. Because that's the best way to know the song. You don't want to be caught chopping your mouth. Well, I go help you. Yeah. Ah, my brother. So when you're partying, you just be giving them, oh, just say, ah, oh, bad guy. See, but you know me. Okay, you know Let me tell you something about me. Me, I didn't listen to know how the lyrics oh. But when about. you get to that part that I know, hey, this person that, that I'm talking about, like, she's, so, she's such an expert that if they release the song one hour ago, she will study it. Today, <laughs> before the end of today. She's going to sing it back to, like, word for word. I'm gonna, uh, uh, you that's all you know before school. <laughs> <laughs> on her feet. On her no feet. They call her Channel Pro. Ah, please. <laughs> Me, I'm not in this conversation. Please, let's be moving on. I am in this conversation. So, you know the pause boys. <laughs> when you come back home, are you saying, when you come back home and you don't meet lights, you surely ask, I bet when they carry lights. Because <laughs> with that, you can do the YDS to know when next they will bring lights. You know? That's right. When you want to do That's the right. question, That's the quadratic right. but equation. But sometimes they that room. Oh, it's, it's, it's for you to get, you will know that. Okay, when they take light, oh, they take them like one hour ago. Okay, that means they take them one hour ago by six, they're supposed to bring, bring them. them. 
Then that means if they, if they bring them by six for evening, by they'll 10. take them like they'll take them like nine. But they'll come bring them like eleven. 11 so we'll go, we so go, we'll go sleep, sleep with lights. Me, I want to say only in Nigeria. I now forgot that it's only even in Nigeria that we don't even have electricity. Oh, you know, sometimes this thing deals with law because sometimes they're supposed to take like ten a.m. They'll come take at twelve p.m. You can't so, find the square root of when they go bring them. So, so, so that kind of situation, you now say, ah, you know, go like say this lights. transformer don't square. Transformer don't yeah. spoil because on a good day, uh, on a good day, lights are full. And sometimes transformer ah. don't go spoil, but you just want to show you for three days. Say, <laughs> right, <thank you. laughs> Shout out but to PHC. Oh, God. Okay, this, hey, this is something serious. So, like I say, come down, want to dance with your parents. He's talking about Big Brother Ninja. Hey, he said, Thank God the original Maria was a good listener. This one in BBM would have wow. argued with Danger Gabriel. Imagine dying for my own scene on the crop because Maria had to talk. Is it, is ah. it true that the she talks Maria actually. Big she she talks actually she talk. No, she can actually talk because I, I said it before. Ah. I said she's too forward. I used the word forward. Especially yeah. when they started, and I think um, those um, those days because uh, she's um, a wild card, card, one of the wild cards. So, so she was yeah, she was trying to like so that they would not they notice or something. They were just so I think perhaps who knows like yeah. But, but, this, but this person is not. The person not related to my. <laughs> ah, salvation. <laughs> and guess what? The way they call uh, white money say, Okoro. Okoro, it's a mass Okoro. Like I like the name. You like the name. You have no problem with it. Oh, wow. But this thing is very true. Well, salvation is key and it's a Please, let's move on. Okay. Wow. Mm. Ah, this one. Even my younger sister complained about this one. It says, I used to think I was addicted to Viju Apple till it became 400 naira. <laughs> Every addiction has a cure. Oh, when when my sister saw this thing, I told her, and she was like, you know what? I wanted to buy. I have not tasted it in a long time. You say 500. So, Please give me, me I want water. to tell you the truth. If you say that you're addicted to something, in this Nigeria, they, this say, they say, cut your clothes according to your what? Cut your coat according to your clothes. Because this one, they show me, I don't have addiction any longer. Are you say no. Ah, don't bring more that fancy. When I'm driving past like this and I see planting, whoa. Hello. I just look at... See, look let, me tell you, let me tell you guys something. Nigeria has many advantages. Those of you that like to see the negative, I don't know why. Yeah. Nigeria will find a cure for many of your addictions. Matricia. Trust me. By easiest, doing another... way, Sakpa. easiest way Sakpa. to get a cure. Sakpa Please. conversation. Okay. Ah, see, his okay. face is already discouraging me. But I will still read it for you people so that you understand, you know. It's a motivational speaker. And it says, anytime you feel like giving up on yourself, I'm sure many of you were expecting to hear, don't give up. Just give up. You have really tried. You have done your very best. Like, this brother is saying he cannot kill himself. So, if you want to give up, look back and say, I've come very far. This reminded but this me is of, where This just reminded me of a conversation I had with somebody <laughs> yesterday. And the person was trying to convince somebody that, oh, they are fighting somewhere. Please don't go. And the person was saying, see, I will go. The person now said, you know what? Just don't take the children because you have lived a good life. And I just... <laughs> I thought you said that. Be going on but your yes, own. Now, they will say you have lived a good life, but yes, you should have not been to any. <laughs> but this, this kind of motivational speaker will not, it will not be cashing out. He will not. Because, because you're not, not saying what people want to hear. Exactly, but that's people, the truth. People like to hear, don't give up. Your but time this is just Nigeria, so typical Nigerian. No? You say you're tired of it, but you want to go. They will say, so that, uh, yeah, but we remain for us. Just go and... No, I, oh, 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 swear. Don't uh, swear. <laughs> but, but please, don't give up. Okay, <laughs> super, that is, huh? Okay. <laughs> All right, next stop. It's her face for me, like, oh, she's in love, obviously. But now she's saying, please, how do they spell meant to be? Like, we are meant to be. Huh. I want to text ah! her. So I'm sure when people saw you, were thinking, meant to be. But she's talking about meant to be, like... M-E-A-N-T, space T-O, space B-E. This is why they are not going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Straight they up. They will never be. Honey Potter has it the head on the, no. the nail on oh, the head. You see, she has not confused me. Please, no, let's just no, move no, on. No, no. There's nothing more to no. say. <laughs> ah, is this face for me? Some, this guy is, is up to something. I mean, he has done something. Boy, let's no, let's wow. just read it. Ah, ah, see pink lips. Ah, ah. That's, the only, that's the first thing I saw, but I don't want to talk to my phone. Ah, ah. me. He says, the guilt I feel when I skip a gospel song in my library. Ah, uh, see, yeah, this is well, why you guys need a playlist. Yeah, well, when yeah. you are playing, the money when we get here in well, the next day, say, oh, 
Well, please there. create well, a playlist. There. That's that's why I deliberately I created a playlist because yes, so. at times you want to be on a vibe. Mm -hmm. So I have different playlists for different songs. But at times you just want to just check out your music playlist. But get I, what? everything will just be going. Then inside that ginger that you're already on a vibe, you now hear. Jesus, you love me. Because oh, no. Jesus, you love me and it's I love you back. Because of guilt, me, I don't skip. Yes. I'll just go with the flow oh, and then oh, move you cannot, you It cannot, is called a reminder. You cannot go with any flow. <laughs> yeah. Five gold chains like I'm shut. And Jesus is right. saying I love you and you don't want to accept. Eh? When was Uncle the last time I went to church? Oh, Uncle Nirumba. Uncle Nishaba. <laughs> Please, let's move on, Jerry, from the Shaba. For the boyfriend. Jesus loves you. Amen. Give your life to God. <laughs> Give your life to Christ today. No, yes, this is too late because you know what? Yes. I don't know any words. <laughs> this is the only part. Preach it, but we still got You're going to go to hell if you don't give it. I'm, I'm not in this setting. I'm, me not, and going to, I'm not going I'm to give not... you tight enough. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, why am I on the show with these people two day together? Ah. Okay, so let us talk about this one. Hmm. So BF is about to get laser eye surgery and won't need glasses anymore. I might be single tomorrow after I, I don't clear. Hey, ah. this is the chronicles of a cheat. Hmm. Ah. So she was a cheat on her boyfriend, or she's ah. not as fine as the thing she is. She's not as fine as she is. It's one of the it's, two. It's fine. She's not fine. Wow. She know she don't make them. Wow. So the boyfriend, the boyfriend will not go and do eye surgery and you know. Oh, you see that? You know, say. Oh, you declare. Oh, you declare. You know, you know, I tell you. This is my are you? Are you you no, can't, you can't be Jessica. Where is, where, is, where, is, where is Jessica? Oh, I that one is long story. Oh, you sound like Jessica. <laughs> exactly. Now you are talking. He will say, um, please, where is my girlfriend? The next thing he says, you sound like Jessica. God did not allow bad mm. things happen to Russell. Amen, no. Bambi, Amen, no, my people. <laughs> it's like, that, this is the last one that me I can take today because all this pepper that they are peppering us on social media, me, I didn't have the stamina this for all this This one restricts thing. air flow. Shall ah, it restricts air flow. But before my air flow restricts, let me use the last stamina to take. you. Uh, Please say rap on social media. <laughs> the first I want for more movie conversations, please stick around. Don't let it restrict your airflow. <laughs> Let's do this. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Back, 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 back. What? Welcome back to the second <laughs> half of the show, East Flash. So far, we've brought to you the entertainment news, celebrity birthdays, rewind, where are they now, and social view. Right about now, it is time to chew it up. Time for one of us to vent on what's currently bothering him or her. So, uh, for now, I have nothing to say. I am so good. <laughs> I am so good. Oh, gosh. I think it's, uh, I should drop my... <laughs> <laughs> so that you it's know how good I am. Okay, so it's me. Yeah. Uh, Angry it's, bird. It, it, it's nothing serious, though. This happened to me recently. Um, I got on one of others taxi hiring company, I got into one of their cabs, and is there, is there a way to tell people, shout out to you guys, you guys are doing a, an amazing job, yes, I mean the cab guys that, the private companies, but is there a way to let them know that you're not in the mood for conversation? That's, so, that's just what I would say, so I'm not in the mood for conversation, you're trying to have a conversation, but I'm even still on my phone, I'm not trying to be busy, but you, you just want to have a conversation. And I don't want to be rude in a way that I don't want to respond. So recently, I just took one, and I'm like, I'm no day in the mood. You told the person. No, like, all the signs were there, but I just said, come on, man. Is there a way that you can, you, can, you should just tell the person straight up, Abby, that you're not in the mood to talk? Yes, you should. So oh, I would not answer you. Because I, I, I like what they do at times. They want to try to have a conversation with you. Yeah. Some people have even talked about them going through a whole lot, mm. and yes, the driver, the kind of conversation they had made them feel better. But at times, there are some people that don't just feel like talking. They just want to enjoy the ride and get to wherever they are going. Which is right. why you should tell them how you feel. Yeah. Tell them you don't want to have a conversation. Don't yeah. respond at first. When they still don't they, get the grief, then um, I get they, what that person was know. trying to do, yeah. but they are talkatives, actually, that <laughs> you know they just want to talk to you yeah. regardless. But I think they should get the cue too, because sometimes you really don't want to talk. Mm -hmm. exactly. uh, Wait now, Wait, what's it coming down? down. Yesterday, I got into a cab like that that oh. I just mentioned, and once I got into the cab, the driver looked at me and said, "Honey, pot on mic." 
Uh, for somebody to even say on the part of Mike, that means that person even follows me on oh, social media. Yeah. Like, yeah, I know Mike. I was like, um, like, oh, maybe somebody I know, and the person just said, wow. It's just, and the person just went, you know what? This trip is on me, and said, cancel. I said, you don't have to. He said, I should cancel. It took me where I was going, and guess what? He even waited for me while I called because I went to yeah. have a meeting. He waited for me while I called to be sure which of the buildings yeah. I was going or something. And um, I am just so grateful. Now I have forgotten his name. Pardon me, but I really appreciate okay. what you did yesterday. Okay. Thank you so okay. much. Okay, so, so quick one. If you are that kind of person, if you used to talk Kimi. <laughs> So by, so by you see me say, oh, you, don't worry, I'll take you. you. So free. Be because there are some days you don't want to drive and you just feel like, and at times that you don't know so, some places, you just want to take this, uh, yeah. tell this people to just take you there. So if you are that kind of person, if you use talk, Kimmy, I'll get yeah. there. So far, so, 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 so far, I'm not going to pay. So you know what, that yesterday, I didn't want to talk to him because... <laughs> I can be talkative on this show. It is the show I'm giving the show to you, but sometimes, so many times, I just <laughs> I want to be my. Mood. So I meet some people that they're like, ah, "Are you not on point?" Why yes, you not? Why are you not? Why are you not? Do you get? I can be very quiet like that. And I'm yesterday too. was. <laughs> I, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, I, I know that we can ah, actually have like the same <laughs> temperament like that. I just you understand? Want chill. But we just want to keep quiet like that. <laughs> That's why our fight is not good. <laughs> I'm telling you I'm not in the middle today. Hmm. Well, well, guess what? Yesterday, because that person had done me, I did not so have any choice. You don't have to be I know. I mean, if I said one thing that I wanted to buy something, and I said, eh, and the person said, Melo. So I just uh -huh. said this to Yoruba. I said, Mufa Jenny. The person just started laughing like, this mm. is you. Ali. Go, now, so, we finish one day. So, so, so far, now, I go, we go talk, we go young. But you know, the, there was a day that I took a cab, and the driver kept talking and talking. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm working here. I can't talk. And he, because up, okay. I gave him different cues, and he wasn't getting it. At first, I wasn't responding. And then I was beginning to feel like I was rude for not yeah. responding. So I started responding, and then I was giving him one-word answers, but he still didn't get it. So I had to tell him that I was busy. Because at a point, he would look back. I'm like, oh, God. He said, we're in traffic. Man. Oh, God, focus. 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 Yeah, focus. yeah. Ma 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 him. Massive shout out to you guys. Yes. Definitely, I know of two people that have said them entering a particular cab, the conversation that they had made them feel better. So, so great thing. I, I think maybe you should just ask whoever you're carrying is, are you in for a conversation? Yeah, well, how, that's you awkward, ask, kind of. But when you, when you notice that that person is you not responding, then you just... Let me go enter my own cab. My cab is waiting yeah. for me. Right oh. there. Oh. I better go. No, just enter cab. May you come on the show because we still need you here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't press my break. <laughs> Anyways, moving on, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a quick recap of the entertainment news in case you missed it earlier. All right, we told you some Kele Idalama and husband welcomed their second child. And of course, we talked about this one, Jared Butler sues over Olympus as falling profits. Yes. Hmm. Olympus so them, falling, uh, no? Yeah, Olympus as falling. That's really funny. <laughs> hey, we will so be no back with our <laughs> special guest after this time. I'll stay with us. Thank you so much, guys, for staying here with us. We told you we have guests in the studio, right? So joining us on the show this afternoon, we have two prolific actors who have been killing it in the acting game for years. First person is a veteran Nigerian actress and producer who shockingly began her acting career in Yoruba language films before making her home video debut in Living in Bondage. She has since featured in various movies and TV series till date. Guys, welcome on Gods and Water to the show! <laughs> we also have Nigerian actress, comedian, compare, and even a caterer that needs little or no introduction in the Nigerian comedy industry. She became known for a role in TV series such as Superstory and Flatmates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Dami Lala Adekoya, aka Princess, in the building. <laughs> And you know I said it that I'm going to report two of you <laughs> to the see, <laughs> since they got here. I don't know what to say. Hmm. They have been I don't know whether princess will say something to and I don't what that's I've been hearing. Why are you not anything. doing your face like you did not do anything? I didn't say anything. I don't ah. know. Ah. Wow. Ah. Wow. Ah. wow. Did you say something? Did you say something? Talking and laughing back and forth. Ah, like ah, ah. you cannot hear. Maybe he's asking. You can't hear. You just get. Ah. Ah. This is 
birthday in arrears to you. you. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. And I saw the video you guys made together and she was like, we should club more and said, no, we should go to church some more together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well, I just goodness. love that um, you have been happy because I know that it's not the fact that things have happened recently, yeah. talking about Sam Sultan's demise and also Rachel Oniga, our condolences, guys. Um, we're so sorry about all this, and I know mm -hmm. that you have not even been able to, I don't know how you've been doing it, but I know that you've been posting yeah. pictures of Sam Sultan like almost every yeah, time. Yeah, because um, it's easier to remember him that way. So I think even when people sent me messages or even insulted me on my page, why do you keep posting his pictures or his videos? I'm like, okay. So this person and I were very close. It was like a brother to me. And I just want to believe that he traveled. I'll probably see him, mm. you know. But I mean, also, that's the only way I remember him. So, and I miss him so much. And I think it's better to post his pictures every day than to sit down and cry every day. Because I've done that and nothing happened. Mm, so. Right. That's oh, it. Mm. That's mm. it. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, with all that's been happening, right now we're talking about the movie you both were on, okay. Crazy Grannies. And when I watched the trailer, <laughs> hey, <laughs> see, you people, what we accuse them of is what they did in the movie. Like, oh. uh -uh. it was talk and laugh. Like, if you watch this trailer, you would laugh. So, how was it working on the project? Since you already know each other, you have a relationship. How was it working on the project? Uh, well, for me, it wasn't difficult because um, before that time, I had worked with Princess okay. before yes. on um, Super Story. Okay. So, yes. well, it's just us coming together as usual. Yeah. All right, so what should we look forward to? No, from... excuse me, let me correct that. Uh -uh. I don't know why she would say we work together on uh -uh. Super Story. How? How? Because now, you were saying veteran, do you know how soon was his age? <laughs> when I was on Super Story, I was like, like, I'm 30 years younger than you. I hope you know that. <laughs> so, because I don't want hey, people to think correction. we're contemporaries. <laughs> because the way you're saying it, people will think, like, we grew up together. No, I've not done maybe, I've not done a few production. The way she said it. <laughs> I was just yeah. there on Super Story when you were there. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh! So, you clocked 65, which day here? I agree. <laughs> Princess. And to go say, I can't shake contempt. You are not, I'm not your contemporary. I'm <laughs> hey. way like your 30 Prince, years older than me. Ma. Princess. Ma. Princess, Ma. you're in Koto Alinye. Iran, Iran. I think I'm going to be shining. Thank you to you be shiny. See your cottage. See, see, see everything. Your hair is beautiful. You're just glowing. <laughs> ah. OK, so guys, what should we look forward to? In crazy hmm. grannies because I can't wait. I can't. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hey, Ray, where do we start? Please don't tell her not to involve me. <laughs> because Why as you can't involve me, where can you? You can answer God is something else. Who is your answer? When I saw the okay, grandma Ngozi. Who is your grandma? In the, in the, in the, because we were all grannies, so. No, in the all movie. All of us, yes, so. In the movie, if they remove my age from your age. It's another well, person. A whole person. Ah, I can imagine. Even in the movie. This even one in the is strong and deny you. Our energy is uh -huh. here. Our energy is always here. And for me, when I saw the script, when I read the script, I called KP. Please, who is the guy that wrote the script? He said, no, it's your friend now, Joy. Joy and I have played sisters. Okay. In a TV series way back. I said, so who are the other two people? Mm -hmm. He said, hey, will you be available? I said, no, let me just know the... He said, Shafi, and ah, oh, <laughs> I will be there. My own is just to come there and sit down, let two of them be acting. Do you understand? Like, if you're upset with Shafi and Antibozi, you don't need to do much. Wow. Just sit down. Uh -huh. She will be acting. Shafi will be doing all the work. Me, I'll just be there. And you were talking to the popper. You will see. Now, I you see people, people saw the movie some days ago, and they said, oh, my goodness. So, um, like I was telling her when I, we spoke earlier, like, I don't even think the movie has... Um, how do I say, um, publicity, the enough way publicity, it the you way you oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Because for those who even came for the premiere, they were like, wow. Mm. So I really think it's a movie that 
everybody should watch. Yeah. If you're alive, like if you're breathing, on your, especially those people that are hard workers, mm. you need to watch this. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I know you have a lot more to say, but right now we need to go on a quick break. And when we get back, this <laughs> awesome ladies will still be here. Don't worry, we're not taking them anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> awesome ladies, have you? So, this is what you have been using to change my son's destiny. I mean, <laughs> That was very, very hilarious. I can see you guys are laughing. So <laughs> some of you even rolled in your seat. <laughs> but I told you, when you see the trailer, you would laugh. Oh, but yes. not to worry, I made a mistake. I need to reintroduce them. Yes. So we have a sweet baby girl. Oh, thank you. Oh, why are you doing and this to princess? An awesome granny in the building. But <laughs> I was corrected by Granny Uwosu that <laughs> she's not a sweet baby girl. Though. She's a granny too. I and another granny. I'm here in. for life. Uh -uh. Oluwa. Uh -uh. uh -uh. uh -uh. She's changed it. She's from everywhere. For life. Me, I don't want any granny to come and give out trouble. You, you allow allow and sing us to take so over no your show. So no more granny again. That's you allow her to take over your show. This old like woman. Ah, 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 on Sunday. <laughs> Everybody knows my age. She was 65. No, I'm She's and why is it that when you say baby girl? girl? Next week she will clock 75. <laughs> <laughs> she <does look> <laughs> talking, <laughs> talking about age <laughs> and talking about life generally. Yeah. I mean, we've seen this and we know that we're looking forward to it. I saw the way you were dancing and the way you wore uh, that ah. footwear that you wore for your birthday shoot. I, I want it. What did I tell you? Yes. Oh. And, I was, on the queue. and earlier on I was talking about Alibaba's post. Ali Baba said, these days, being alive, when you wake up like this, it's a celebration and it's yes. luxury. Yes. So we should just dress, wear our best clothes and all exactly. that. And I saw that uh, during your birthday, two days ago, you said that, oh, who are you that the Lord is so mindful of you, considering mm -hmm. the things that you've been through oh, and yes. all that. Yes. So you want to tell us, so what is your outlook on life right now? Hmm. My outlook on life is one day at a time. Enjoy while you can, because you don't know when you will close your eyes and that will be goodbye. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, Straight deep. up. It's deep. Mm. Ah, you felt it, Abby. You didn't feel it. I had to keep oh, quiet and it's deep. It's just. <laughs> All right, so what about you, princess? What's your outlook on life with uh, everything that's happening right now? With everything that has happened to me that is still happening right now, um... For me, I just believe that there's this song, I don't know how to sing it, but I mean, the song just states that lots of people are hypocrites. Yeah, even though we don't say, oh, well, that. So my voice is not good, so I'm, I'm not going to sing. Ah. So I just believe we should be, we should try to be more humane in our approach to everything. Mm. Everybody just seems filled with hate okay. and bitterness. Everywhere you turn, where you expect to see love, support, affection, you, people are angry. People don't care for each other. Do you understand? And people are not truthful. So I believe as human beings, we can do better. Like I said, I'm still very young. So I mean, she, she can speak that way, she's 65. But for so, some of us that are very young, I'm thinking, so going forward, let's be more truthful. Let's be more humane. That's it. We've lost our humanity. Our Talking people. about being humane, <clears throat> I know that you've been to the courts back and forth. Yeah. I don't even know what you think about the Nigerian justice system, judicial system, I mean to but, say. Uh, and then all the things that have been happening, you know. <clears throat> yeah, going in, so far so good. I mean, in the beginning, I would say I've been disappointed pleasantly and unpleasantly in some ways. Like, where I proper waited, like, I was prepared for corruption and, I mean, things were even smooth. But it is areas that I even thought, oh, this, is, this shouldn't be a problem, because this is black and white. That I met with so many brick walls and people trying to muscle you and show you, oh, we are in charge. We are rich and we'll show you we are the big people. Wow. So life shouldn't be about that. You understand? Mm. I grew up knowing that people say you have to be hardworking. If you eat tobacco away, but I wear duko. Now we're in a world where no matter what you do, if you don't have connections, some specific connections, you might not get to where you're going. But in my own case, I even feel I've seen like a, a very bad and sad path that I don't want anybody, not even my enemy, to experience. 
and we need to be more humane, I still say, in our approach to everything. I've seen people bashing me, even for Larry, coming to say, why are you posting Larry's videos? That's all time. All, time. Yeah. all the time. <clears throat> Do you understand? Mm -hmm. We're tired of seeing it. You're coming to my page. I just lost a brother. I'm mourning him. And you're coming to my page to say that. You want to type and go to sleep. I don't understand what you want to do. And you feel, I don't even need to curse you because like if it was the olden days, they would say maybe God will smite you immediately. Yeah. Immediately, You can't do that. People are mourning. You go and insult them. People are not mourning or they keep off social media. You still go and insult them. Oh, this person has died. And since Auntie Rachel's, Rachel's passing, they've bashed other people. Why are you not coming online? Why are you not? We mourn differently. That's why I say we need to, we've lost our humanity in all areas. And then we need to care more for ourselves, especially for our children. I, will, I, will, I mean, I can't say it, you know, if you've heard or seen a lot of things happening in the last past two, three years to children, yeah. even some days ago with Atlanta finding a boy that was being extremely abused, broken bones and all that, what do we hope to gain from that? So we, we really need to retrace our steps. I don't care whether you're rich, average or poor. You need to act like a human being. Some things are not even obtainable in the animal kingdom. If you have a, a dog, and the dog has like five puppies, I don't care how, how caring you are. The day you just smack one of the puppies, if, if that dog sees you, she will yeah. attack you. Yes, of course. She won't say because she has four. Why are we now treating ourselves lesser than animals are treating themselves? We need to change. And it has to be fast mm. and consciously. If not, people will say, oh, because it happens to you. But I always tell people, what goes around comes say something happens to your neighbor exactly. and you will keep yeah. quiet about it. Don't worry. You don't do that. Uh, we used to look out for ourselves. When I see Gozi was saying I was in Spasso, when I was, before I was in Spasso, I was on set with Here other people who looked out. No, didn't you look out for me? Here we go. No, you didn't. No, we're going together <laughs> in the first place. No, I'm saying, I mean, you, because no, you're we're way outside. The same you're way, oh, no, we're not. The, oh, so we're going back. <laughs> we're in the, the industry. Story, you you see people looking out for themselves. The late Fushu Alabi, Tomoni, and to Joker Silva, I yeah. was a child. I started acting at seven. I wasn't afraid anybody was going to molest me. And I was in the industry. People come to the industry as teenagers, as adults now, and they are being abused day in, day out. With other people sitting, being rape apologists, or turning the blind eye. It is really bad. We need to get back our humanity. It's very, 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 very important. Wow. <laughs> Having said that, uh, we have to close the show. We want to, yeah. did I say the show? My God. The like interview. this speech already made it look like we are closing the and show. The, but no drinks, no. No, no don't worry. You want to open our I think seven and, later. Uh, hey, we want to say a very big thank you to <laughs> and to Ngozi for um, coming on the show today. Grandma. <laughs> Grandma she says she's a baby girl. No, wait. Are we close? <laughs> what All right, we want to say a very big thank you to Ngozi Ngozi and Princess for coming on the show today. Um, say thank you to baby girl. Okay, thank baby you so girl. much. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Sweet girl. girl. <laughs> Sweet <laughs> girl. <laughs> thank you, baby. Thank you, baby girls. For life. Thank you. And baby girl plus. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. That's so it. Much. Please, please, please. Sorry, sorry. I had to interrupt okay. you. But let me just quickly drop this before mm. we go. Yeah, please, okay. people. I say go out there and mass and watch crazy, crazy grannies. grannies do you want to know why it's called crazy grannies, grannies. wow when is it out just in watch it then you know how the crazy sixth. we are okay. we'll be in all the cinemas, cinemas. from the 6th of, of august, august. That's Thank it. you. Thank you so much once again. That's it. We are a special guests. You see that they are really special. What are you watching is next after this break. Stay here with us. Yes, yes, yo, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for What Are You Watching? Basically, what we do is talk about some of the movies and shows we recently watched, with you also sharing with us what sets you've watched or currently watching via phone lines and also our social media platform at TVC Connect using the hashtag is Splash on TVC. Uh, so let me go first. Okay. Uh, um, the movie, uh, yeah, there are a lot, uh, but let me talk about this one till death. That's the mm. title of the movie, Till Death. It's not any Mount Zion film. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been married to, it's to not, that was what? That kind of thing. Um, oh, wow. Actors, we have uh, Megan Fox, we have Eon Macken. It's important for me. Because you love Megan Fox. I love, I love Megan Fox, then I love the way they took the story itself. I love the movie, yeah. I've oh. seen it. And the part that got to me were the hallucinations. Yes. Where she was talking to herself, like how do you do that? Like because well, somebody's anchored to you and is there, what do I mm -hmm. do now? He threw away the key. There was no way he could open it. Then she went around dragging his body, looking for knife. Let's let me even look for something to break this ankle. The guy eat everything. You know what's funny? I also saw a movie similar to this one, and its title held. Hmm. That's the title of the movie. Oh, it was dropped this creepy year. Too. Yeah, creepy too. <laughs> so this husband and wife, their relationship has been shaky. Their marriage has been standing the test of time, but there have been recent issues. So they decided to go to a vacation rental in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere. The husband <laughs> initiated it. And then they were held hostage. A lot of events happened, mm -hmm. which gave way to a revelation. Mm -hmm. And the wife found out her husband was not who she thought he was. Yeah, true. And at the end of the day, she was trying to escape with her husband, only for her to find out she was against her husband and the captor. Mm -hmm. And she tried to escape yeah, alone. Yeah. So, the actors in the film, hmm, Jill Aubrey, Brad Johnson, and a host of many other actors, well, what made it interesting for me was that every time there was a new revelation, like just when they're about to get to the last part, and you're like, ah, oh, there's light at the end of the tunnel, you just yeah. see that it's dark again. It's not like, going anywhere. Hello, Pano, <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, the scene that stuck out for me was when she found out the truth, and she had taken off what they were using to control her, and she was still playing along. Then her husband saw the blood behind her, and then they went inside, and then she saw his own so that he had taken out. She was like, so game over. We know and what's then, happening. <laughs> serious matter. That was one scene that stuck out for me. And how would I rate it over 10? I would actually rate it a seven, mm. because I enjoyed the movie. I was glued. Even though the circumstances I saw the movie, we're not okay, because I was moving, I was in a oh, vehicle, okay, okay, but okay. at the end of the day, I still enjoyed the movie. Mm -hmm. So imagine not concentrating, but, but still, still getting everything it. and enjoying yeah. it. Ah, you almost just did a film. It's a must watch Held movie Held if you like creepy. horror and Held creepy, creepy stuff. Yeah, it's creepy. The part, the part that got me in that movie was when she pretended to be taking the drink because <laughs> they, they would drug you with that drink. Yeah, it's just crazy, man. It was crazy. Watch Held. <laughs> okay, and what did I watch? I watched uh, Listening Ears. <laughs> Mm. Is it creepy too? No, it's, it's not, not creepy. Okay. It's actually an Adrian movie. Oh, God. And uh, this one is, uh, uh, I think, directed, yes, is directed by Toy Abraham. Mm. And that is our first job as a director. director. Yes, yeah, she said it's from our film school uh, or film Aww. academy. Yes, that, that's the first project from the academy. And it's quite an interesting one. All right, so the actors in it. Toyin Abraham, Kainde Bankole, Kunle Remi, Deyemi Okonlawo. Okay, just to mention a few. All right, and uh, the movie plot, it actually centers on this uh, self-willed woman who was searching for love or somehow in a way, and she found it in a very strange place. It's such a, a funny and interesting Nazi, mm -hmm. like he has a lot in it that you would like. Uh, and uh, the particular thing that I liked, I, I extracted it and used it for my YouTube oh, yes. video. Yes. That was what made me see the yes, movie. Yes, yes. Kunle Remy is such, oh God. Uh. All right, uh, the scene that stuck out from that particular scene, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> the scene where uh, Kunle Remy and Ken Debankole were, so Kunle Remy um, is a married <laughs> man. Uh, the character is a married man there, and Ken Debankole has a child, like a single parent, of course. And um, she went on a date with Kunle Remy, and Kunle Remy was, <laughs> she was shocked. She didn't know that he was married. And when he was talking, like, I wanted to take a picture. And was, that was, I said, ah, remove a corner. Oh, God, a corner is show. Like, your nails are showing in this picture. My wife might say, let me take it again. So that one else it was shocked and said, oh, you have a wife? Wow. Yes, I, said, I drive a space box. Space box. Like, what do you expect? <laughs> what do you expect? I don't carry, I don't used to carry animals. I use it to carry children. children. <laughs> and so that's that. I love that scene. How will I rate it? I think a 7 over 10 won't be bad. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. okay, we'll yeah. see how movies today are getting... Uh, 
Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. And we are done with our choices. So when we return, we'll also have the opportunity to share with us. You have the opportunity to share with us any movie or shows whatsoever you recently watched. What you like about your choice, who acted in it, and most importantly, your rating over 10. Stay here with us. You know, guys, it's still Movie Thursday and Tuesday. that music video, Tuesday, I mean, ah, <laughs> throwback Thursday, Movie <laughs> Tuesday. You know, when you have so much fun on the tea days, there's a lot to look forward to. That's but right. anyways, I feel that video should have been a movie. <laughs> well, let's take your comments on Facebook. So, starting with uh, Olua Sheung Oni, who says, Good afternoon, everyone. I recently watched Jungle Cruise. It's such an amazing Ooh. movie and full of adventure. I rate it 9 over 10. Mm -hmm. Hey! All righty, wow. Michael Bengadebo Ali here is the second wife. It's your movie. The movie is all about a guy who has a spirit, a, who has a spirit realm wife <laughs> who has vowed to marry him, but God delivered uh, the guy through <laughs> the help of pastor's <laughs> prayer. I was rated 9 over 10. Okay, uh, still on Facebook, Blinks of Lagos is saying, hey guys, I recently watched Fast and Furious 9, almost a lot of emotions in there, but we move. Was a good watch, but there were quite obvious errors, though. 8 over 10. Ah. Eh. Abiodo is saying, I'm currently watching Homeland, and I'll rate it 8 over 10. I also... Um, Mohamed okay. Awal Sheo Tani is saying, if there is no real news... To... Okay. That's, that one's talking about something else. <laughs> um, Abi Onyeka is saying, I'm currently watching Inmates. It's a Telemundo series uh, about a guy who was asked by his judge boss to infiltrate a notorious gangster prison to rescue his daughter that was kidnapped by the gangster boss. I will rate it 8 over 10. Nice. Mm -hmm. I also have uh, Jay Obisin who says, I recently saw Those Who Wished Me Dead. It's a great movie. I will rate it 8.5 over 10. Oh, yeah, I love your share too. Please, who's your plug? Honeypot and Kathy, you both are looking nice. Thank the you. The so Lord much. is my plug. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Judy Amaka says, Never have I ever. Mm. An interesting Netflix series of an Indian teenager who is brought, born and brought up in America. And I will rate it a 10. Mm. Nice movie. Really, really nice. 10, yeah. Okay, so we have someone who saw a Yoruba film, Michael Binga Adebowali. I took that. Second wife. Okay, yeah. you've, you've taken it. All okay. right, so Yakub or. Uh, or <laughs> here says tomorrow's war it's a very interesting movie and i really love it i'll rate it eight and a half over ten i recommend it to... okay so they're recommending that to us mm -hmm. thank you so much thank you thank indeed you. Yeah. all right so uh moving on we've got esther Oyindamala who says i just watched moxie it's all about feminism in high school and women standing up for each other i would rate it 8.5 over 10 simply because the storyline went kind of at some point, uh, but it was still a good movie. Alrighty, we have Zainab Yahaya who says, Hi, people, please. Uh, <laughs> when is Arika coming back? I've missed her so much. Uh, you know, uh, handle on Instagram. <laughs> I think you can get in touch. The movie I enjoyed recently is a cartoon, Sha, but I love it. Raya and the Last Dragon. I, I rate one. it 8 over 10. All righty. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, we've got Sixtus Egba who says, uh, good afternoon. I'm rating the film 8 over 10. The movie, its name is Prison Break. All mm. right. Okay. Mm, yeah. People are to watch Prison Break. Oluwa Kwalumi Adetaya is saying, hi, guys. The cards, King OJ, Onipot, you guys are looking good today. But I'll rate you guys looks today 7 over 10. Uh, uh, <laughs> are, are, you, are you losing focus? Uh, lo <laughs> I am losing focus. Focus. So Ina came back and I said, well, I'm currently watching Cruella. It's funny, crazy, and interesting. I'll rate it 7 over 10. King OJ. Well done. What can I do? Okay, so uh, let me let me take a final comment before we go. So uh, Imisi Samuel says, "Hey, hashtag is splash on TVC. I'm currently watching Gunpowder Milkshake, and I'm rating it. nine over ten. You guys are looking awesome. I've seen this movie, and I can attest to the fact that it's a really amazing movie. But I don't think I'll rate it nine over ten. I'll, 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 I'll rate it. Uh, maybe we'll it's seven point five or eight. Uh, yeah, I'm yet, I'm yet to watch it though. People rate stuff differently, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's all we can take on. What are you watching? Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing with us. It's been an amazing run through on the show today. Talking about movies, having mm. the two amazing guests, and <laughs> getting the movies from you. Yes, so many yeah. movies to watch out for. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. I didn't do this alone. It's your lady cat, her royal hotness. And I did this with Honey Rabba, Rabba, Rabba Nalamba, and King OJ. Who is talking about Ramata? I don't know what talking about. But anyways, if you have any comments or videos, just go to our social media pages and drop whatever it is you have to say. The show continues tomorrow, guys. Bye for now.